Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 Reviews. My name is James, and today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Raptor. So let's get this started. So before we get this started, big shout out to DJC Collectibles for hooking me up with these classified figures and my friend Luke. So full disclosure, uh, <laughs> amateur remove on my part. Uh, I wasn't recording when I did the actual uh, breaking the seal here. The gun is, time to fuck the <gasps> fuck. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. You got Raptor's full name here, Chip Raptor Talon and General Ledger, which is the name of the eagle, I believe. You got the nice display of the figure in the packaging. You got G.I. Joe logo. Cobra logo and on this side of the packaging we have some nice artwork here of Raptor and the General Ledger. You got 139 in the line. You got some nice digital render here of Raptor flying through the air and some flight pods in the background. Got some zoom in aspects of some uh, details of Raptor. You got him wearing his uh, kind of headdress. You got this vent fan thing on his wings and here we got uh, some nice deco and on the bottom here you got some boring stuff here jason take some no on this side of the packaging we got a qr code and uh nice display of this figure we got a kind of a two tray system going on here you got his wings connected to the uh piece of cardboard here and here's a quick shot of Raptor in the plastic imprisonment. I'm going to take out all the accessories and the figure and we'll take a closer look. So let's go over Raptor's accessories. So first Raptor has this handgun. It has a really nice kind of gunmetal paint application on here. Pretty cool. And next Raptor has this tiny little knife. It has a nice uh, paint app here of uh, gunmetal. <laughs> and Raptor has these claws. They came with nunchuck I believe. Uh, the exact same ones and next we have uh, Raptor's headdress very nice paint applications on here um, I know I said eagle before but I'm pretty sure this is a hawk you are correct sir yes and uh, you can see there's like yellow eyes very nice paint application there's a little bit of blue detail on the beak and feather detail all over and lastly here is General Ledger <laughs> uh, that's funny uh, since um, Raptor is a tax consultant but it's pretty cool like he has this kind of um, uh, blind on the hawk here and uh, that looks really cool uh, there is a peg so you can peg him in somewhere on Raptor uh, this looks really cool it's very very small but uh, nice details there. And lastly, with the accessories, we have this really, really cool type of wing system. Uh, it is definitely mechanical, just like um, the Spider-Man villain um, I'm, that's escaping me his name. <laughs> Who is this flying flamingo? Uh-oh. But as you can see, there's some really cool technical detail and sculpting on here and really cool deco and paint apps very very intricate and it is hinged the wings are hinged up and down very cool and on the back here we got a peg obviously and you got this, these fans for like a you know some levitation on there that looks really awesome i can't wait to put this on the figure so speaking of figure here is raptor very cool check let's zoom in right onto his head very very cool paint applications on his head he has a uh you know business in the front party in the back shaved on the sides that's very very metal <laughs> and uh he has like the robin mask around his eyes a little bit of uh, paint application on the lips and he is he's stripper ready he looks like a stripper one of those themed strippers very funny <laughs> Uh, I believe this is like tattoos on his chest. He has this necklace here that's kind of connected to this floating uh, shoulder 
uh, feather shoulder kind of thing happening there. <laughs> this is a very, very odd figure. I do like it. Uh, it's wacky as you know, AF, you know? He has a, a wild belt buckle of a hawk uh, with the wings in gun metal. Tattoos on his arms here. Uh, this really cool kind of detail. He has these feathers here that are connected to his gauntlets. Uh, so you can hold the bird there is i'm hoping there is a peg somewhere there it is right here on the forearm and you can see there is a kind of a red detail and this kind of sculpting here on the forearm guards very cool uh plain brown pants uh, i believe this is reuse i'm not sure which figure but uh most likely it is he has these kind of like floating satchels here with pouches and whatnot uh, Crazy boots, check that out. Same kind of detail with the feathers sticking out. And uh, yeah, regular old boots looking. So overall, this figure is completely whacked, right? Like uh, there is a tattoo on his back that goes all the way to the top of his neck. So you can remove this and take a look at all the tattoos on this figure. So going through some articulation, I won't go through everything, but there's one thing I notice about the shoulder uh, butterfly joints. They pretty much suck. <laughs> they don't move at all. Like most uh, classified figures, they are all pinless and double jointed knees and elbows. And the wiggle test is very good. Nice ratcheting, you know, double ball joint at the neck, which doesn't move very much. He cannot look up uh, because of the hair and the way the, the hinge works or the ball joint at the neck. The, unfortunately, he can't look up, so he can't, you know, when he's flying, he can't see where he's going, unfortunately. But there's always fixes for that. Yeah, that's the articulation. So let's go ahead and gear him up. So here's Raptor with his handgun, and we could go ahead and just throw it in the holster, just like that. I'm not sure exactly which way I should put it. It's free floating, so you could either probably put it in the front or kind of like on this back side kind of thing. And we have the knife. Of course, the knife will fit in his hand. Uh, not the greatest since he has trigger fingers as default on the figure. So I see right here, the knife fits right here. Kind of would have liked it on his boot, but whatever. That's the way the figure is designed. And next we have his headdress. Now that's complete. Check that out. <laughs> and well, and speaking of this figure, uh, terrible segue, we'll have a vintage comparison at the end of this video. So we have these claws. Um, I heard through a couple of my friends, most likely other reviewers, uh, saying that his hands are too big, so it's gonna be really difficult to put this on the figure because uh, it's made for nunchuck and i'm assuming nunchuck has smaller hands than this guy but uh it just kind of goes around his hand just like that so yeah it doesn't fit the best but you might have to push it in so it does kind of work and we have his crazy mechanical wing system and let's see how this fits on the figure Looks like it does. I wish the peg was a little bit longer, but it fits. It fits just fine. So now we have Raptor pretty much all geared up. I don't think he would be flying around in the suit with a Raptor, or sorry, a <laughs> hawk on his forearm. So it looks like you might have to twist this like this and there goes the yeah so it, it's kind of weird there's also a peg on the other forearm just like that but it's very strange but let me know if I'm doing anything wrong here because it just doesn't seem right to me there you go his arms are kind of twisted so you might need to readjust them so there is 
general ledger on the forearm of Raptor. Had the fan dangle it a little bit to get it to seem appropriate. And the cool thing about this, I saw some really cool pictures that, you know, you could, re you could adjust this thing and make it look really cool in a nice pose. So there you have it, guys. There is Raptor, one of the wackiest characters for sure. He flies around, <laughs> does your taxes or whatever. <laughs> Pretty awesome. It looks really cool. It would look really awesome on your shelf against uh, hanging out with Cobra Commander. So there is Cobra Commander. You could have these guys just hanging out. <laughs> awesome. So I'm hoping, you know, we'll get more wacky characters. Of course we are getting more wacky characters all day long. And I'll keep on buying them like a freaking sucker. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we'll, we'll do a vintage comparison. So I got my Raptor, vintage Raptor out of my Detol. And this is a pretty good representation, uh, or I should say, this is a pretty good condition uh, figure. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of his accessories. You know, I got the headdress that it fits on really tight, so this is rarely uh, lost. But as you can see, you know, they have the same kind of uh, look to them, of course, with no shirt. Of course, uh, the vintage one does not have tattoos. That's a nice little extra detail for classified figures for sure. But you can see he has like that red kind of jewel uh, necklace, just like the vintage one. And the, uh, you see the belt buckle detail is mirrored onto the classified. You know, same kind of wacky freaking headdress and, and shoulder feathers, <laughs> you know. There is a knife sheath here on the side of his uh, thigh. But uh, yeah, again, it's just a scaled up version and a highly detailed classify figure. So there you have it guys. There is my review of Raptor, classified Raptor. Gonna get a lot more freaking classifieds coming very soon. So I would really like you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, make a comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm on my way to a thousand subs, so if you could hit that sub, that would be highly appreciated. I answer everybody's messages, so make a comment down below, and I will get back to you very fast. Well, thanks for watching, Yojo and Cobra!